you for joining us. Is this your first time here at Reggae Sun's Cup? Yeah, this is the first time. First time here. First time. Yeah. Well, that is a good thing. And how are you enjoying it so far? Well, the vibe is good, you know. Um, I haven't really seen the crowd as yet, but, you know, I was in my, my um, back area, my room area, and, uh, you know, you can hear I can them. Tell the energy is overwhelming, yeah? Yes. So, you know, they're really ready for it, and I'm, I'm also ready for it, too, yeah? Good. Il est prêt pour sa performance tout à l'heure. Il n'a pas encore vu les foules, mais il était dans sa loge et il a entendu les vibes et ça avait l'air bon. Now, perfect, perfect. Where is the name from perfect? Tell well, the, me. The name perfect is a self given name. Right. You know, because um, coming up as, a, as an artist, you know. I realize that, you know, a name is very important for an artist, you know? Yes. Your name can make you, or your name can break you, so to speak. So I wanted a name that would motivate me, right. so to speak. Yes. And I think that, that, that the, the best name was perfect. We all know that nobody is perfect. Yes. Yeah, everybody has flaws now and then, but, um, you know, whenever I'm about to perform and the MC says, next on stage, perfect. You know, that just tells me that yes, I have to do it to the best of my ability. Right. You know, so you, you, you use the name to enhance your game. Right. Snoop Dogg is not a dog. No. Yeah, I but he, he does songs about, you know, the dogs and, you know, boys in the hood and, and whatever. Yeah. So he uses that name to enhance that game. Right. You know, 50 cents is not 50 cents. Yeah. Born to kill is not a killer. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you yeah, know, yeah. a name is very important. What, what about Gidimani? Perfect Gidimani. What about Gidimani? Well, Gidimani, the name Gidimani now means the meaning of Gidimani is morning of the Amagidia. Right. Or Amagidian morning. And that word was created by Perfect. Right. So, how that word came about is that. I, from I'm a Gideon, I shortened I'm a Gideon to Gideon. And then morning, I shortened morning, morning and say morning. Right. And I put both of them together. That's how you get Gideon morning. Right. I'm wow. a Gideon morning. <laughs> let me stop you there because this woman needs to translate everything you're saying now to let everyone know. She's going to sum it up though. Okay, no problem. But I got it. No, just for her. Pour, euh, <rire> je ne sais pas quoi le traduire, mais en gros, le nom Perfect, c'est un nom qui s'est donné à lui-même. Il a voulu se donner un nom qui le motivait, euh, même si tout le monde a des défauts. Quand il monte sur scène et qu'on l'annonce comme Perfect, il commence, ça lui donne la motivation de performer au mieux. Et après, le nom Gelimani, c'est en fait le, le cours pour euh, Amageddon, c'est ça Amageddon yeah. Et après, Mourley, qu'il a, qu a résumé aussi en Mani, donc ça a donné Gelimani. And it's a good thing, I think, for us that you're not called 20%, 80%, maybe nearly there. <laughs> well, it's know, a good thing for your audience. Yeah, definitely. Right? We have to always uh, you know, keep trying to, to do our best, you know? Yes, yes. So give it, the, give it the, the best shot. Exactly. Shoot for that star, you know? Yes. Definitely. Now, in saying that, on the same lines, I want to know what we can expect from your performance. You know, what can the audience receive from you? Well, my performance is all about a lot of different stuff. Yeah. First, my performance is all about educating the people, you know, through the words of we as Rastafarian, which is our policies, equal rights, justice, and love. You know, so we are here to educate the people on that, you know. We are also here to educate the people on the system that may be oppressing the weaker class of people. Right. You know? We are all about giving the people also a very energetic performance. You know, because your energy is really required, you know? Yes. When you meet an audience like, you know, so many thousands of people. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, nothing but good vibes, strong energy, you know? good performance, professionalism on stage. That, that, is a, that is a better word to use, yeah? Yes, yes. Just to sum it up. Definitely. Professionalism. What I want to give in my performance this evening is really to educate people on the values of the justice, the love, and especially to educate 
éduquer euh, les gens qui viennent des, des classes aussi euh, plus faibles et on veut donner autant beaucoup d'âme aussi dans notre performance et euh, beaucoup d'énergie surtout devant des milliers de gens comme ce soir c'est le cas euh, on veut donner euh, le maximum de nous-mêmes dans la performance I'm glad to hear that Now let's uh, let's uh, also introduce Guardian Star. Right. How did this collaboration come about? Uh, well, a long time we are working with Guillemani. Et puis vous faites ah. vous devez, c'est vous devez en français. Ok, je vais donc le faire en français. Ben en fait on a déjà eu des collaborations avec euh, Perfect euh, lors du Garance quand elle est venue il y a je crois 4 ans de ça. Et euh, ben, c'était l'occasion de faire une performance live avec lui comme on a l'habitude de travailler avec lui quand même. Les projets de place et les rencontres en Jamaïque. Right, maybe it was better in English because I didn't understand that. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but tu comprends tout le monde. Ça va, on a compris quand même. But you you collaborated. I understand you you like each other's styles. You 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 do you are fit together. We are in the and we. We, you know, we meet perfect with uh, Tom Toyeri and Norrisman and uh, make them together in a studio, bring some vibes and things, you know? Yes. And, you know, it was the first meeting after we met in Jamaica and, and right now we get the, the chance to make a live performance at the Reggae Sun Sky, you know? And what was it like for you as a European, as a Frenchman, going to Jamaica and meeting these artists and being in in the birthplace of, of, of this kinds of music. How did it feel for you? First, I won't say, you know, me born and grow in Africa, so, oh, you know. Moi. Yeah, so, Mr. 20, oh, well, more than 20 over there. So, you know, me come to Europe and, and we already know about uh, reggae music and yes. things, because, you know, Bob Marley come in a Gabon, the, the, the country we live. So, from me, yes. like, from me born, you know, reggae music. Then, you know, we, We discover all the sound system thing yes. all around there, and we try to start something. My friend Jacob and build guiding star, and after I learn about the plate special and and you know Revalab showcase everything, you know. Yes. And you know, like we. It was a natural progression. Yeah, it was say? a natural progression. I think for me, it's like mm -hmm. this, you know. Then after, you know, as you know, as you love. Reggae music, you have to touch one Jamaica one time, you know? Yes, it's it's yes, a place. Yes, you know, you can, like the homeland. Yeah, you can yes. get out of it. Yes. You know, you have to do it one time. Aujourd'hui, on travaille avec, euh, avec Perfect, mais on a on travaille avec beaucoup d'artistes tels que Frisco Kid, Tantan Moja, euh, Nanko, euh, on a Chronicle, Echo Minot qui était ici ce soir. On, va, on, va, on sera avec lui le 17 août euh, à Senios, avec Appleton aussi. Voilà, en fait, on, on, on essaie de travailler avec un maximum d'artistes. Aujourd'hui, euh, notre reggae à nous, ça n'a pas de frontières et c'est tous les styles. Je peux jouer des artistes récents et des, je peux faire baquer des anciens artistes. Je n'ai pas de limite. Quoi. Le but, c'est de promotionner et de passer un message. Now, I would, I would like to know actually for both of you, for, for yourself, coming as a, from a sound system point of view, who were your influences and who inspired you to continue in this kind of way of making music? And for you, Perfect, who was your, your influences? But if you start by yourself. Okay. Uh, My influence, I think, uh, you know, my favorite artist for all about reggae artists born and live is Garnet Sick. He's the sweetest voice, you know. And, you know, this is my my first thing. And after, you know, what we love in reggae music is the, the, the music of the people, is the, the, the message, you know, uh, to educate the people, you know, because we, reggae comes from the ghetto. And you know the problem in the ghetto most of the time is education, and and when you get chance to educate the people and, and make them open their eyes and because you know the when when you learn you won't learn more and 
and, and it's this way. It's, we want to educate people. Them stop watch TV and trust TV, yes, and you know, yeah. and know about reality and the real value in the life. And that's the first thing, you know. And um, who would you say for you it would be your uh, influence? The one, the thing that made you want to come into music. And yeah, well, you know, I grew up around. Uh, you know what a jukebox is? Jukebox? Yeah, jukebox. Yes, yes. You yeah. put the money in. Yeah, because you my father, the my father used to fix them when the, when they got broken. Oh. My father used to fix them. Nice. So I grew up around the jukeboxes. Yeah. Yes. And I listened to a lot of um, Bob Marley back then, yes. Peter Tosh, you know, Jacob Miller, mm. you know. And in the in in the, in the early eighties, like the real dancehall sound boy vibes, you know, was like, you know, Super Cat. You know, Echo Minot back in the day, Sugar Minot, yeah. you know, so, yeah, the, the, those those days, remember in those years, you know? Did you want to be like them? Did you hear it at such a young age and feel, this is what I want to do? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Ses influences, donc, principales, c'était, en fait, son père, il réparait les jukebox, donc, depuis qu'il est petit, il écoutait la musique de Bob Marley sur les jukebox. Ensuite, dans les années 80, ça a été plus une influence dance hall, mais c'est vraiment ça qui l'a inspiré à faire la musique euh, qu'il fait aujourd'hui. Do you ever, do you know what you'd be doing if you wasn't doing the music? I so can you answer that? I would be still doing music. You'd still be doing music. That's good. Est-ce que vous feriez si vous faisiez pas de la musique, je ferais de la musique quand même. Definitely. 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 Glad to hear, man. Yeah, man. This is um. This is more than a party of us, you know? Yeah. This is us. Everybody listens to music in other world, so it's like the highest work do music for the people, you know? Yeah. Because everybody listens to music. Mm. Something that transcends yeah. just normal life, you know? I never choose music, music chose me, you know? Indeed. Yeah, definitely. Indeed. Definitely. It's the music he chose, it's not music. I think this might be a good opportunity to ask, uh, see if the audience members have anything to ask. Yes, the audience are, are, are welcome. We've got a gentleman over welcome. there. Pour l'émission Redim Radio Campus Besançon, on peut en fait, on sait que tu as fait deux trois big tunes sur des Redim de digital. Comment tu vois ce retour, cette espèce de retour qu'on ressent à ce style de digital reggae music? You've done a few big tunes using Redeems with Digital. How do you feel with that? Do you feel like we're coming back to that now? If I feel we're coming back to digital with yeah. us? Well, to be honest with you, through all the time of reggae music, you know, reggae musicians have always had some type of digital equipment in their work. You know what I'm saying? If there was even a conga drum rhythm, live live drums rhythm, you would still have probably a keyboard in it, which, which was digital, yeah? So the authentic root of reggae music, you know, were live instruments with a little bit of digital input. Even the roads, going back to the roads organ that Bob Marley used. You know what I mean? So it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that, you know? But the root of reggae music never dies, you know, which is the authentic drum and bass, live vibes, you know? But you know, nowadays, new technology, so you know, producers and artists tend to experiment a little bit sometimes, and it does happen that we do get a good track sometimes out of it, you know? But definitely, the root, is with artists, yeah? Definitely. En fait, il y a toujours eu du digital dans le reggae un petit peu, même si la racine c'est quand même les vrais instruments. Et de plus en plus avec les progrès de la technologie, on utilise plus de digital, mais les racines restent quand même les mêmes. Et des questions? Because uh, we we actually had uh, this conversation. This seems to be the theme. Actually, there was one of the festival about digital versus the kind of analog and uh, the argument that the authenticity comes from more the, the kind of live, we were speaking with Mad Professor who built his own yeah, recorded studio and Definitely, things. the live feeling 
it's way different from, from, from a digital field.